Hi everyone, this is Pro Gaming 2008 and welcome to another video. Today we are going to finally try a Linux operating system, so this is all going to be new for me because you know I'm a Windows user. Today we are going to try the first Linux operating system for me and that is Ubuntu. It's I think the latest version and as I've heard Ubuntu is based off of Ubuntu. I've already heard about Ubuntu but never heard of Ubuntu until now. It might be Linux but for furies. <laughs> this is the page of the Ubuntu operating system and we already have 38,790 downloads. They also have a Discord server, buy us a coffee. Coffee written like that and we just go to downloads to download the ISO. So the requirements are 4 gigabytes of more of RAM 64 bit capable Intel and AMD processors, UFI PCs booting in CSM mode, modern Intel based Apple Macs, 60 gigabytes of free hard drive space, that's a lot. Internet access is helpful. So for now the main version is called Ubuntu. <laughs> Why can't I say that? Ubuntu 22.10 LTS. So you just hit download Ubuntu. You choose the link you want. I recommend going with Mediafire. Just click the, uh, oh, it automatically does it for you. So you click save and your ISO is saved. So now we're going to go on VirtualBox and let's install Ubuntu and give it a try. All right. It says try to try or install Ubuntu Budgie, so it doesn't recognize that as Ubuntu. All right, and there we go. This is the loading up animation for Ubuntu. Ooh. I swear, every time I'm going to try to say the name, I'm gonna laugh, just because you know Uwu is for furries. But yeah, the loading animation seems to be really cool. And the logo, I think, is almost the same as Ubuntu as I saw before. Oh my... <laughs> Why is there a dog? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, this is already starting to get a bit cringe. Alright, so we've got two options. Try and install, I think, just like uh, Ubuntu. So just going to say install Ubuntu. <laughs> Alright, so um, I need to also select the uh, keyboard. Mine is a French keyboard, so I need to select that. Uh, there we go, next. We're going to do the normal installation. Web browser, utilities, office software, games and media players. All of that, we're going to use it, probably. We will download the updates while installing Ubuntu. <laughs> and we'll install the third party software and gra for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware for additional media formats. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. <laughs> yeah, I'm in France. Alright, I'm gonna put uh, a different name. There we go, <laughs> that's a mic. Alright, I um, need to put a password, I think. I'm gonna do login automatically and continue. I can't. So I'm just gonna put Miku. Miku, can I do that? Yes! yes. Welcome to Ubuntu 22.10. Recommended by experts. <laughs> the Ubuntu team experts. Ubuntu is currently the best operating system based on Linux and also surpassing any version of Windows. Are you sure about that? Ubuntu is a Ubuntu based distribution now featuring the budgie desktop environment. Being designed with the modern user in mind and Ubuntu customization, budgie focuses on simplicity and elegance. Alright, uh, let's see the next uh, thing. Customize your profile picture. Choose from a variety of profile pictures for the prettiest Ubuntu user. And yes, we do have some anime profile pictures and the one with the cat. Let's uh, next do the next one. Your favorite browsers installed. With Firefox already installed, Ubuntu has everything you need to browse the web. Ubuntu also includes Chromium pre-install, so that's really nice and a really nice feature compared to Windows. Are you a programmer? Nope. With Ubuntu, you can continue coding with your favorite text editors. Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, and GEdit are installed. 
I've already heard about Visual Studio Code or VSC, but I've never used it because I suck at programming. Enjoy your music and anime. <laughs> it even says that Rhythm Box lets you organize your music and listen to internet, radio, podcasts, and more. VLC plays most multimedia files as well as DVDs, audios, CDs, VCDs, and various streaming protocols. Spotify have millions of songs and podcasts available on the internet. APT, what is that? Say goodbye to searching the web or using apps for software. With GNOME software, you can easily find and install software. Your ratings and reviews are used to rank software by popularity. You have access to thousands of free and commercial applications. Installing anything is just a couple of clicks away from you. That's also a cool feature compared to Windows. <laughs> I'm really starting to loving this, even though I, I'm just installing it right now. Enjoy the last movies. Oh, there's also there's also some anime right here. Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, oh, okay. It talks about the uh, description of Jujutsu and Dragon Ball. Oh my god, I think this is going to be an anime related operating system. Thanks for choosing and installing Ubuntu. <laughs> Get help and support with our Discord community. For more information and pointers to other useful resources, please visit our homepage ubuntuos.site. Enjoy and have fun. Oh my god. The uh, pictures, the presentation of the operating system is already really good. And uh, I'm really starting to like Linux compared to Windows. I don't know if uh, Ubuntu can be my daily driver compared to Windows 11. Let me know in the comments which one is better, Ubuntu or Windows 11. So we're just gonna let this install complete, it might take some time. And we'll come back to you guys once the install is complete. Okay, after a long, long, long time, like 30 or 40 minutes, the installation seems to be finally complete. Let's just restart the system and see what happens next. Okay, so this looks like the desktop of Ubuntu and looks, I think, really similar to Ubuntu. I think it's almost the same. Except that the uh, taskbar is on the bottom just like Windows. And that's really a good thing. I'm, this is coming from a Windows user. First time trying Linux. And yeah, the uh, layout just looks like Windows almost. The taskbar on the bottom. And now let's install the uh, VMware tools to make it go to full screen so we can explore every other app it has. Alright and there we go. The OS is now in full screen and now we're going to look at the app. So, um, has been issued, was released. Uh, remind me later. We'll take a look at that later or maybe not. But this is just the latest version of Ubuntu. Let's start by looking at the apps. What's 2048? <laughs> What's that? I've never heard of that before. Alright, additional drivers, network configuration. Oh, it has Solitaire. Archive manager, backups, about ARM, ARM and PI. Budgie control center. I think that's the settings. Budgie desktop settings, calculator, calendar, calibre, silhouette, characters, cheese, cheese <laughs> instead of camera. Oh, it even has Discord, but this is the old icon of Discord. Discs, disk usage analyzer, so that's a really cool feature to have. Document scanner, document viewer, drawing, ebook editor, ebook viewer, files, Firefox, fonts, Gthumb image viewer, iBus preferences, image, magic, color, death, Q16, kitty, I don't know what's that, fast feature rich, GPU based terminal, this might be sort of a command prompt, language support, LibreOffice, that's a really good uh, program I use often for homework, <laughs> login, window, logs, LIF viewer, Magnus, Mangjong, map, menu editor, mines, be Minesweeper. Oh, even has some games and also has Steam, which is really, really good if you want to play games on Linux. System monitor. Oh, never heard that before. 
text doc, I don't know how to pronounce it, text editor Thunderbird Mail, Tilix transmission, VLC, welcome and window shuffler control. So we have a ton of apps that are pre-installed with Ubuntu, so that's really nice to see. So the right click, it has open a terminal, let me see what exactly is the <laughs> it says fish home hatsune desktop <laughs> i thought it was going to they say like uh terminal or something it said it instead says fish <laughs> i'm actually going to see if there are other backgrounds than the default ubuntu background i think it's in the uh budget control center um background Oh, we do have some background, so that's really nice. What the fuck? What the fuck? It also has a Windows XP background on Ubuntu. <laughs> We're just gonna take a look at uh, each one of those. I have no idea which one is from. Which one? Or what is that from? I think this is a picture of Japan. Um, uh, I don't know what's this, but we'll just take a look and we we'll also have some other photos of Japan. Let's just uh, take a look at each background. They are really high quality though. That's really good. I'm re really liking this. Oh, we also have Mount Fuji, which is incredible. Oh my god, this one looks absolutely gorgeous. And this one looks really nice. Oh, it's a, I think a temple, but on the beach. <laughs> Another picture of Mount Fuji with a building but on the sunset, which makes it look incredibly beautiful. So we also got the default background with the dog and the uh, Ubuntu logo. This is the one which just says Ubuntu Leo Dango. This one <laughs> It's a Ubuntu Mochi Mango. It has a freaking cat. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't expect that either. <laughs> it has two cats and one dog along with the Ubuntu logo on the Windows XP background. <laughs> oh my god. I want to try out mine, see if it's exactly the same as uh, Minesweeper. Let me do this. Oh my god. Oh, okay, play again. So yeah, it is the same as the uh, win the one in Windows. What is my reputation on Linux? Well, it ended up being very positive. But, is it good for gaming? We will check it out later. But since we already have Steam installed on Ubuntu already, I think we can play some games supporting Linux. I don't know if there are any games pre-installed on here. I don't think, because I didn't see it in the uh, apps menu here. Except for Mines. But uh, yeah, I didn't see any other games than Mines and also the Steam app. We will check it out in a future video and when I'm more experienced at Linux because you know I'm not that much into Linux right now since it's my first time using it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have other Linux distros to try out. I've heard about Debian. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've also heard of that. We tried Ubuntu, if you have other distros, let me know in the comments. And we will see you in another video. Stay safe, take care of you, peace, bye.